Reading Pioneers is proud to present The Backyard, written by William S. Mason III. There once lived a family, three girls and three boys. And they lived in a house with much love and much joy. But no joy was greater than the fun had outside. They had a special backyard with a swing and a slide. They spent many years playing outdoors. They would make campfires and eat tasty s'mores. Some nights they sang songs and happily danced. Other nights they gazed at the stars in a trance. In the sunsets they'd play hide and go seek. The entire family played. Count to ten and don't peek! In the fall, they'd rake leaves and jump in their piles. And in winter, they'd build giant snowmen with smiles. On warm summer nights, the children played with their friends. And if they were lucky, they would camp out in tents. But as the years moved along and the family got older, the backyard grew empty and the yard became colder. The family got busy with everyday things, like going to work and all that life brings. As the children grew up, they moved out on their own, and the backyard was sad because it felt left alone. There was no one to play with in the backyard's green grass, and the yard missed the family and would dwell in the past. But the backyard grew smart with a plan of attack. It would keep itself fit in case the family came back. The backyard made sure that the flowers got sun and the backyard would build giant snowmen for fun. The backyard knew that the family might see the fun being had to spark their memory. And as more time went by and the years moved along, the yard stayed alive and kept itself strong. When all of a sudden, the family came back and the backyard was thankful for its plan of attack. The family was bigger and had new children to see. And the backyard was cheerful and so full of glee. The backyard happily showed the new children its trees. And it had perfect piles ready of new fallen leaves. There were many old games the yard showed the children like hide-and-go-seek, and how to build giant snowmen. The years moved along, and the same fun was had. The family was back, and the backyard was glad. And now it is certain the backyard now knows. Even though times change, true love 
only grows. Thank you everyone for reading along with us today to the story of The Backyard. I never thought about having The Backyard as a character before, but William does a really good job of showing its importance to the family. What did you guys think? Comment below your thoughts about the story, click the like button if you enjoyed it, and stay subscribed to this YouTube channel to keep up to date with all future videos and stories being uploaded by Reading Pioneers. If you enjoyed this story and want to find out more about the author, there's a link in the description box below to his Amazon page that has this story and others that you can purchase for yourself. If you can't wait, on the left is The Boy with the Rainbow Heart, and on the right, Shadow. Well, that's it for now. So until next time, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.